The Victorian Government will establish a dedicated task force to investigate and advise on how to better prevent and respond to workplace sexual harassment. It will start immediately and report back before the end of the year. For more on this, I'm joined now from Melbourne by reporter Dana Morse. Dana, tell us more about this task force. Good afternoon. Well, the decision to establish this task force has come from a report from the Australian Human Rights Commission. Now, that report details that one in three people experience sexual harassment in the workplace. And we know that the majority of those one in three are, in fact, women. So this task force will be headed up by the uh, Parliamentary Secretary for Workplace Safety and a well-known human rights lawyer. Uh, now, they will be looking into making wide-ranging reforms on this issue, including introducing mandatory reporting laws for employers, better protections for complainants, and putting in place prevention strategies so that these sexual harassment incidents don't occur in the first place. Now, of those one in three people that are recorded as experiencing sexual harassment in the workplace, we also understand that figure doesn't include those who don't report. And that's something that this task force will look to address. And here's what the Workplace Safety Minister, Ingrid Stitt, had to say on that. It is incredibly sobering uh, on International Women's Day to reflect on those shocking statistics that uh, one in three Australian workers have experienced sexual harassment in the last five years. And that is an unacceptable situation and one that we need to urgently address. So the ministerial task force that we're announcing today uh, will look at some significant reforms that will go to making sure that victims of sexual harassment have the ability to speak out and also look at ways to prevent sexual harassment from happening in the first place. And Dana, who will the recommendations from this task force then apply to? Well, it'll be looking at going across both the public and the private sector and the task force really want to make sure that this applies to as many industries as is completely possible. However, one place it's very unlikely to apply to is the parliament itself and that's because of the very unique power dynamics and imbalances that we see occurring there. So the uh, presiding officers in the Victorian Parliament are currently working on a code of conduct for MPs that will cover sexual harassment, but it's unlikely that these uh, recommendations from the Sexual Harassment Task Force will directly apply there. Dana Morse reporting from Melbourne.